So honestly, if you are looking for your holiday date (laughs) (laughs) and you are single and looking for that one person that can go to all of those holiday parties with you, or, you know, could be your situationship (laughs) for the next coming months. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about like a friend with benefits? I always feel you should never mix those with like social things because then the sex gets ruined. No, a situation ship is a little bit different. Um, I don't usually suggest those are great to get into because usually one person doesn't realize they're in it. Exactly. (laughs) It's a mess. It's a messy situation. Friends with benefits is messy, but go ahead. It can be very messy. All relationships are messy. Yeah, it's true. To be fair, hookups are messy. Relationships are messy. Marriages are messy. Dating is messy. Human interaction is messy. (laughs) It's all messy. (laughs) And the sooner we realize that, the better off we'll be. Yeah. We just have to remember that we don't communicate at the same level as everyone else. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that. I can't tell you how many times I hear you know, I'm a really good communicator or I want a partner who's a really good communicator. Exactly. Same face. Yeah. It's usually the opposite of I've learned in life that whatever someone is saying and proclaiming, like with exclamation, like very pat, it's the opposite. Mm-hmm. They're usually the exact opposite of whatever they're talking about. Yeah. So, you know, and I've seen a lot in the Facebook group lately. I've noticed there's been a lot of chatter going on about um, getting frustrated with men and women Mm -hmm. as far as dating apps go. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ghosting that's happening nowadays. There's, you know, having conversation and then people disappearing Mm -hmm. or going on a date and not hearing from them again. Catfishing is happening a lot more now. Online dating is challenging because it's given this idea, this menu option Mm -hmm. of, you know what, I'm going to swipe, swipe, swipe. And now I have 10 potential options in front of me. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot about the other nine because I started chatting with this one, Mm -hmm. but the other nine I was having conversations with and I just completely forgot about them because I met this one and now those nine people feel ghosted. Yeah. And maybe that one person that you did have interest in didn't work out. Maybe you went on a couple of dates and it wasn't a good fit. But now those nine opportunities are like done because you burnt that bridge. Yeah. Or, you know, some people will try and go back to those nine and some people will just continue to swipe and still forget about those other nine. Yeah. But that's just what happens. Mm-hmm. How do you maintain not? reducing your standards especially this time of the year because you know apps are I think here to stay they're not going anywhere and I think they're just getting bigger yeah and I would imagine this might be another myth but I would imagine in the winter months we might be on those apps a little bit more if we're single or in a open relationship or whatever the situation may be and how do you maintain keeping up the standards that you have when dating especially this time of the year we were talking earlier about the escort thing Let's Mm -hmm. throw that out of the window right now. (laughs) Right now, let's talk about people who then just start to date anyone just so they can have someone during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. What do you think someone should do in that situation? Should they maintain their standards or be like, you know what? He was nice to me. Maybe I'll date him for the next 60 days. Or she, you know. I was just talking about this this morning too. We don't really show our true colors until a few months into a relationship. Mm -hmm. We're on our best behavior in the very beginning. We really want to impress the other person on the first date, second date, third date, fourth date, however long. Mm -hmm. And then slowly we start to fall into our regular behavioral patterns. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone could just be themselves on the first date, just who you are. But then think about this. If I went on a first date with someone and I was 100% true to myself, truly who I am, nobody would ever want a second date with me. I'm a dating coach who's lived in other countries, who's well-educated, who has multiple degrees. 
I never um, get a second I date. I don't really see that as a negative, though. I think if anything, the true That's because you are, don't want to date me. <laughs> no, no, that's not you it. You don't want to fuck me. <laughs> Pardon no. my French people, but I mean, you look really on. hot. Today. <laughs> no, that's because of an event later. No, I think if we were truly ourselves 100%, even on the first date, it will make it easier to weed out the ass wipes or the, the time wasters. Because, <laughs> no, I think a lot of times in life, from the time we're teenagers to the time we're getting older, we pick people because we're under the illusion that they're giving us. And then a year goes by and we're like, oh my God, this guy or this girl is a fucking psychopath. Why wasn't she a psychopath on the first date? Why did I have to move in with her or him to find out that this person is anal about everything? They're controlling, they're miserable. But to be fair, some of that builds over time as well. Some of that is the more comfortable you become with someone, you fall into different patterns together as a couple. So the way you are with one partner is not the way you are with another partner. Hmm. Think back of your long-term relationships. The person you were with each partner was different each time because there's two people that are coming together into the relationship and you're affecting the way you behave. Hmm. See what I'm saying? So when people blame their partner for the things that they're going through, like my mother always called my dad passive aggressive up until the day he died. She, I even found letters where she wrote to him about how, how pass anyway. Can a person really do that? Or is it really still you? Like, well, you are reacting to them. That and you have a choice. They're okay. Mm -hmm. So you do have a choice. So you can't, I would never say like, it's my partner's fault. I don't think that's fair because okay. you have a choice in how you respond to them. If you know that your partner does something that's very triggering for you, mm -hmm and it gets under your skin and you lose your shit every time, mm -hmm. it's on you. You have so, a choice. You don't have to react that way. You really don't. You really don't. But if you, okay, so then where's the middle ground for being yourself? Because, you know, we all have neuroses. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's, it's human nature, uh, how, we, how we grew up, we're made up of all of our experiences. How do we get to that core on a first date? So me and you, if we were both single, can get right to the conclusion, mm, no, or yes, let's move <laughs> forward with this. Like, and why, why does it take so long? I feel like as we talked about it before, you said straight relationships don't have that level of communication yet, whereas maybe other relationships do. How can we get people to the point where we're just ourselves? Because I feel like the sooner humanity gets to the point where we're not judging each other and we're completely authentically ourselves, the sooner we can get to the point where we can see more happy couples, more, uh, more love, more harmony, I guess you would say, mm -hmm. amongst all genders and sexes. And I think everyone's dating life. I'm so grateful for my husband. Like we compliment each other, but I wouldn't have been able to get to that point if I wasn't myself. And I feel like for a lot of successful relationships, the other person allows them to be them, who they are, regardless of what that looks like. Whether it, if you're a super nerd or you're super sexy, they don't care. They love you regardless. And I think a lot of times, for a lot of relationships, especially where we're just talking about, you know, picking the wrong person because of holiday pressures, we change ourselves just so we can have a relationship, just so we can say, I'm in a relationship, just so I can mm -hmm. say, I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. You know, I really think, for one, it's important to understand what it means when we say to be your authentic self. Your authentic self comes from a place of love, from a place of joy, of a place of empathy. So I've heard people say, my authentic self is an asshole. What can I say? Well, that's not your authentic self. That's, 
that's your cover up because yeah. Yeah. when you're 